A kinetic Monte Carlo study has been performed on these bipolar structures. The physics behind the resistive switching process is linked to redox reactions and the formation and destruction of conductive filaments of reduced copper ions. The kinetic Monte Carlo simulation approach is the best option for the study of resistive RAM variability and reliability. A three-dimensional grid is used to build a kinetic Monte Carlo simulator. The mesh cell size corresponds to the size of a copper atom. The mesh represents a cube within the dielectric, with the top and bottom faces corresponding to the dielectric electrode interfaces. The three-dimensional Poisson and heat equations are solved in the dielectric for each simulation time step and in every mesh point, using both Dirichlet and von Neumann boundary conditions. The copper cations are formed at the active electrode dielectric interface. The cations can move because of diffusion and electric field induced drift in the dielectric. The most important physical processes are included in the Monte Carlo algorithm. The reduced cations can form clusters and, if they keep on growing, the electrodes can be electrically shorted. If this is the case, a percolation path is formed. The activation energy for ion reduction or the oxidation of a copper atom is related to the number of atoms surrounding it. Consequently, the atom density within the conductive filament is dependent on these effects. In addition, this density is also linked to the dielectric fabrication process and the electrode materials. The reset process is due to the joint contribution of thermal diffusion and electric field-driven drift. After the reset, a set process starts in the bipolar operation regime of these resistive rams and the filament is formed again using the remnants of broken filament as a starting point. In this manner, complete resistive switching cycles can be simulated. The average electric field varies stochastically between the conductive filament tip and the electrode as the filament formation and destruction takes place. The dielectric conduction mechanisms depend exponentially on this local electric field, such as Paul Frenkel and Fowler Nordheim. Therefore, current variations can be produced at these formation stages.